I'm Dan Hamilton and I'm a third year apprentice. I'm Taylor Lightborn and I'm a fourth year apprentice and this is the 1942 MGB 81. When removing the original interior, a selection of each different web was carefully removed and saved in order to keep the pattern. These were replicated 300 times to create a new set ready to be installed. With the box stringers, longitudinals and bunk fronts in place, it's ready to fit the bunk structure and webs, also known as knees. The use of the plywood webs as stiffeners is to lock everything together. Every corner or connection between two frames is reinforced with the web which has been glued and screwed into each frame. This pulls one to another and prevents any slipping, along with stiffening up the entire structure and preventing anything from breaking or moving when she is up to speed and is slamming in any swell. Don't forget these boats were capable of around 40 knots in the 1940s. As with the frames, the webs were dry fitted and planed on site to create a perfect fit, as no two sets were the same, again due to the change in the hull's angles. They were then removed, labelled and glued into place. The apprentice is not levelling the bunk, he is checking that the height is the same across. The bunk is planed and sanded flat to create a perfect fit for the bunk tops. There are still a few jobs outstanding, including fitting and painting the new frames. Don't forget to watch out for part 5 where we will be fitting the deck structure and replacing the original floorboards and removable floor panels. <laughs> 